Hello everybody, it's Lana, and today I want to show you guys my custom LEGO front discharge cement mixer truck. Basically, it, it's a cement mixer that puts cement over the front, if you kind of didn't gather that. This custom creation, it's, it's, this is the second rendition I've done, you can check out the earlier version if you'd like. <laughs> the video itself is not very good and the custom creation isn't anything to really brag, around, brag about too much. But I, I will say, I am definitely happy that I have done this rebuild and the fact that it looks a lot better. I really actually paid attention to reference material and such for this build as compared to the other one where I kind of just went, kind of just went with what I had previously seen and I could remember about them. So yeah, I really enjoyed building this custom model. It took a lot of work, but it was, it was worth it in the end. I really like the amount of, considering it's a cement mixture, you kind of think of this general shape, then you don't really realize how much detail is really on these. These actually are kind of fairly textured vehicles. I'm really happy, especially around the front. I really love this the, the base of the build itself. It looks really nice. Uh, the headlights are actually fairly realistic. A lot of them look like this. The front chute house to get connected is probably the one of the least realistic areas. In the top area, I'm really happy with the uh, railing, considering the front isn't the weakest area, and I know how I can fix that. But considering everything else, I think it looks really nice. Around the side, we have a small access ladder, mirrors, you got all the, the wheel wells that are very nicely shaped. You got a spare uh, chute extension, and there's one of the one of the two. I don't know if there's the same tank or two yet separate propane tanks. This is a propane powered, not a diesel powered uh, cement mixer. Then around the back, we have the engine compartment. We got an exhaust stack and the rear droppable axle with some taillights and such. The other side, this little area on this side of the the engine compartment is probably the least detailed of the whole model, you know, yeah. Then we have, of course, again, details mirrored as pretty much was the other side, minus the ladder. So there you go on that. The first feature of one I'll show you guys is the, are the four droppable axles. They're located in the second, the third, the fifth, and the sixth axles. Actually, no, sorry, the second, third, sixth, and seventh axles. Make sure I definitely get it right. Uh, they are all just standard clip hinges and work very nicely. Uh, it is a bit of a pain trying to get to the roll level if you get one hinge too high or too low. If it gets too low and it's the only one in contact with the ground, it can lift all the other except for one other set of wheels up. If it's not low enough, it won't roll. And so sometimes it's best just to roll this on carpet if you really want to get the, all the tires and things. That's an essential feature, I guess. I don't know why, but okay, yeah. Moving around to the front, we can see the discharge suit. Now, uh, it, it does rotate. We can change the angle of it. But another thing that's kind of useful is, um, well, sometimes you can't get right next to where you're pouring concrete. So we we can use extension chutes, just one on each side, as I previously mentioned, one here and one here. And we can put them on and then use that as an extension to get concrete more closer to where we want to go. To ignore the uh, prints on, the, on, the, on those ex elements, this is what I have available. So again, you can actually get fairly far, even though it starts to get to the point where the uh, angle, the angle, I guess you could call angle of attack, I don't know. This the angle of the chute, sometimes the, uh, the concrete doesn't go all the way down, it gets stuck, it starts piling up. So sometimes it's best just to leave it with two sections, but if necessary, especially if you're posing, it looks really nice, since they really do have those extensions that are fairly common. Moving up to the top and kind of the side again, we see the drum, which is some of the LEGO's pre-molded pieces. They're really nice, they're really fairly good, so. Uh, it's it's probably best to use these. Uh, one little feature though, if we kind of move back farther though, is you'll see this knob that is actually is geared up so you can rotate the, the drum from here. You know, honestly, it, it's a big pain to reach and because of how kind of weak, just because of the fact that those the propane tanks are just, oh, I should say natural, it's natural gas. If I say propane, I believe if I did it's natural gas. Uh, those are just ankled against the sides, so you have to be really careful. It's best just to rotate the drum with your hands, usually it's just the easiest thing to. But it is there, I guess. It, that, that was just something I thought would be more useful, but I don't want to make it too more too prevalent. I don't want to take it up too much. It actually looks like the motor, so I'm actually happy about that. Uh, so here we go. Now I can show you guys this in action. Uh, pump out some some concrete. It's an asphalt. I do have an asphalt paper, but this is not an asphalt paper. Interesting. As you can see, it does a fairly consistent rate, even though, of course, uh, it sometimes it, it has yet to jam on the inside for me. Although, sometimes, again, it jams on the ramp, and they kind of don't always, aren't, it isn't perfect, but it does work, and you can completely empty out your drum. Alright, now that we have all the asphalt, oh my gosh, I almost said asphalt, okay. Now that we have all the concrete out, 
as we can see, while well, our drum's empty, that's a bit of a problem, and it's kind of tightly packed in there, it seems like. Well, that's where we can come up and we can find we find a loading chute. Actually, due to the fact of how it's designed, the amount of space in there requires it to be pulled up. But if we push it down, it's to the point where we can carefully start loading it up. So here we go, we can reload it. Alright, well, we got concrete back in there again. Oh yeah, I do uh, not mind the fact that it's black, it was just what I have available. So there you go. It's, it's, there's my custom Leo Overcab frontal disc, front discharge semi mixer. I called the previous one an Overcab semi mixer. It's really a disc front discharge. It's, it was again, it was a really fun build. I really enjoyed it, and I am really, I'm really impressed with the level of detail it came out. I still look at this and I'm like, wow. You just, every once in a while, you get a look a little bored and you get a new angle and you're like, whoa, you don't realize how good that looks. So, yeah, there you go. Anyways, I want to thank you guys so much for watching and for bearing with me if this was a little boring. Hopefully, it wasn't. I'm trying to, again, continue to become more efficient, produce better videos in shorter amounts of time. Go ahead and tell me what you guys think. If you guys don't mind, take a quick second. Tell me what you think of the uh, filming background. I know it's not my normal uh, blue background. I, I'm wanting to try this to see if, because it is a little easier to set up than the set in the studio. See how, how you guys, how it feels. I'm, I'm not my, I don't think, I think it looks decent for this right now. Well, we'll see. I might go back to the blue backdrop. I might stick with this, but if you guys have an input, that would be kind of nice. Also, if you guys want to see, also want to, if you guys like this video, go ahead and hit that, don't forget to hit that like button. If you guys want to see more, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. I'm trying, trying to get a more consistent upload schedule, and so it, it's, it's trial and error, but I'm getting better. And, um, and of course, I got plenty more content to bring to you. So this is not the, it's not gonna be the end for any time soon. You can also check out some of the other videos on my channel, including some my latest city update and uh, my custom Lego rat, Rapid Heavyweight mobile cr mobile crane, and also probably if one of these boxes has the latest upload on it too. I want to thank you guys so much for watching again. And remember, go learn, build, awesome. This is Lana Bricks. Same bye for now.